Welcome everyone to Grim Quest. And today we will be playing Grim Quest. We are going to be going on the Grim difficulty, advanced combat, off perm death, and uh, this is the advanced set setting. We'll do normal. <laughs> More events. I like the events if you didn't know. Level progression. I like normal. Start game. So let's look at these things we have here. They're all different, you know, choices for an avatar. Out of all of them, I feel like I'd be this. Our character shall be named JD Third. JD the Third. Now let's select our background. I kind of want to be a mage, so let's see what we have. Hmm. No. Scholar. No. Veteran. No. Berserker, maybe. Monk. No. What? Alchemist. No. None of these seem. Ooh. This is Bookworm's kind of spell. Hmm. And if we go back here to the start, I believe that uh, Adept is minus 15 spell upgrade cost. So Adept, you know what? Let's go with Bookworm. I prefer it because it has one more spell use. Alright, select animal. What gives us best uh, magic? Because I'm going to be going for that. Wait, I like vampire bat, but let's keep saying. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, the spell we were spiders in school. Hunting falcon, guard dog. I don't know. Let's go for the one we have here, the, the um, mutated scarb. The city of Ashbourne once was a place of peace and prosperity. A bustling trade hub at the heart of the old empire, rivaled only by the capital and its golden splendor. At the height of its power, the empire ruled the known world, dispensing wisdom and justice in equal measure to all of its subjects. Until in their blind hubris, sages of the sun court overreached in their arcane experiments and shook the very foundations of the world. They made the terror a breach in the fabric of existence from which the dark crept into the world and locked the hearts and minds of mankind in its cold embrace. Hordes of otherworldly monstrosities followed in its wake, so they inch by bloody inch swarmed the land in all directions. The empire fell, and the better part of the human civilization on the old continent crumbled in dust with it. Oh, come on. I can't read that fast. Don't worry, I'm gonna wait for this to end, and I'm gonna read it. <laughs> okay, we're back to it. The empire fell, and the better part of the human civilization on the old continent crumpled to dust with it. In the years that followed, the city of Ashbourne, a mere chateau of its former glory, ended in the north, shielded by the high mountains and its mighty walls, beset by constant threats from the unnatural veil of darkness looming over the horizon and vicious creatures lurking in its shadow. The city saw a steady influx of adventurers and mercenaries over the years, one and all seeking to amass riches or unveil mysteries that lie at the heart of the world's shattering calamity. For as we all know, danger and opportunity come hand in hand. Like many others, you have come to Ashbourne seeking fame and fortune, responding to the city's council ever increasing demand for manpower and promises of gold. Your destination of the fabled remains of the old imperial capital, once the center of the civilized world, nowadays a ruin said to contain vast treasures in its gloomy halls. As you make your way through the city, you realize it's in a dire state. Signs of recent siege evident on the chaotic streets and dismayed faces of passerbys. A slim percent 
of control is maintained only by the presence of mercenary companies in employ of the city council and dwindling garrison of the city guard. You walk by a tavern, a worn sign swinging the wind, betraying its name of a dancing dragon, and, this, and you decide against having a drink. You will need all your wits about you for what's to come. Finally, you reach the parapet overlooking the valley below. In the distance, not too far south, a thick wall of impenetrable darkness obscures the horizon. I have a source of all this trouble, the tear. A wound in the fabric of reality, leaking foul things from the dark. You can feel its alien presence gnawing at, you, at your sanity, even at this distance, and you ponder, with no small amount of dread, how it must be to endure this roaching horror every day. As you watch the black clouds gather and advance slowly but steadily across the evening sky, the color of dried blood doubt takes root in your mind and you wonder now for the first time if this was a good idea one thing is certain however you have a grim quest ahead of you well here we are everyone this is the city of Ashbourne this is a map I guess <sighs> it's pretty good pretty good map I like it well building is very good in my opinion Mountains. This, uh, let's just do all bounties because you never know what's going to happen. Various assortments. We already got healing potion, so that's good. If we have 400 gold, we can use half of it to get a flaming sword. What does it do? Plus one damage. Plus three damage but only against orcs. The flaming sword, I think, is better for us. So we will buy the flaming sword. We did. Okay, buy and we'll buy one of these buy that should be good enough training grounds that's for the thingies guild house that's for skills I'm going to equip that sword very certainly it's blacksmith boiling cauldron that's the crafting area this is all the like this is basically all the lore and quests and stuff. This is where we get magic. We're gonna need a lot more gold for it. I think we'll go elemental or dark. You know what, we'll go, we'll go elemental or something. But first, let's begin our very first quest. It is said that in the centuries past, when the old empire was at its height of its power, Sengen Girl was a part of Ashbourne proper. It served as a complex of harbors and water and warehouses for goods straight across the northern basin. Today, however, is a vast stretch of underground caves, dark, damp, unpleasant, and crawling with undead and bandits who use it as staging grounds for harassing the city. If you say his counselor's advisor are to be trusted, you will find two of your targets here. So called Prince of Thieves, surrounded with his army of mismats and Mirage, should be your first concern. After he is dealt with, there is the Baron of Bones. This dead menace is rumored to reside somewhere in the lower levels of the grotto, in a chamber made from bones of his enemies. Alright. So here we are, the Mage of No Magic. Dozens of tents litter the ground before you, and just a few paces ahead, a huge dig site scars the barren land. It seems to be an excavation site, probably set up to search through the relics of the old empire, but its inhabitants are nowhere to be found. Okay, we got 29 gold from expecting the tents. Our first fight. Then I can do a second strike, I'll take that. And they do their turn, and I do my turn. It's, it's turn based. Obviously, as you can probably tell. We didn't lose too much HP from that. And we got some XP, which is pretty good. Found more gold. Oh, great. Look, it's, 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 it's guilt and fear. But, like, they manifested. Because that's the thing, if you didn't know. You didn't know your guilt and fear manifest manifests in um horror, obviously. Um that's actually a pretty good idea. I might put that in my uh 
thing I'm making. Oh great, self delusion. Oh, I should hit funeral station first. Okay. Here we're gonna take one of our healing potions and take our Sama because we need we need Sandy if we want to survive. Um Search the remains. Nothing was there. Oh, that's sad. Retreat. We are not fighting a dire rat and two rats. Now we'll fight a grave robber. Those guys don't seem to be too bad. Ten XP. No, oh, I don't want to fight these guys. These are the most annoying things in the game, because they're only supposed to appear when you have low sanity, but I have 10 out of 10 sanity. I, I, I literally want to ask the people who made this game why they made it like these things so hard to beat. Is it because my thing is higher? Is it because my events are higher? Is that, what, is that what's happening? I'm glad I got that sword though, that's something I needed. Okay, we're using that healing potion. Not yet, which is probably a bad idea. We're leaving, yes leave. Okay, we have 200 gold. Ooh, the army approaches the city, prepare for a fight. So these are skeletons, we'll beat skeletons. These guys. Scarlet Eye. Oh, yeah, we won. Okay, first we need to buy some supplies. Then. That one's a pretty easy one, so we'll take that. Various assortments, let's see. We're gonna need this, this, and this. What else should we take? Or we'll buy, I guess, because we can't take it. I don't know. Let's take the, those leaves. They're worth it. Along with the grapes. If you can't tell, in this game, you need a lot of healing. Okay, this is a, just should be a pretty easy one, this adventure. that were pretty far in the video no one's watching I can tell you what I'm gonna make I was planning to make a um basically a game that's like a choose your own adventure through YouTube yay fear and I both fear ooh two fear two fear they both tried to kill me They're like looking especially fearful today, aren't you? Um, in your, as your head begins to throb under the weight of your travels and whispers and murmurs and murmurs, blah, 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 blah. oh, makes the house and. I accept. Yo, that, that was actually pretty good. I guess the dwarves are good. No! Sandy, leave me. Freaking. Sand, Sand. Get out of here, my enemies. I don't care about your freaking self delusion and self denial. Get out of my face. Yeah, yeah. Of course you miss doubt because you're doubtful of yourself, not me. This doesn't make any sense. I have, I well, I had full sanity until this fight. Oh yeah, we can still get more stuff, probably.
We got we got lore. We will read that later. Search for items. Cause we can sell those items. Okay, so I lost sanity to do that. Okay, we left. Oh yeah, more more enemies. Oh good, we got to reach out the right guy. The Brotherhood of Broken Shields fight these off. More enemies, what? Who, these guys are good against in the Iron Fist. But we should have got that, uh, thing if we go to our journal. Collect, mm -hmm. boom. And that's... Now we can go to the Mystic Emporium. But I'm gonna first buy some healing potions. If they have any. They don't, so we're gonna buy dried meat. We're gonna sell this. And what does Bald Mouth do? And we're, gonna, we're gonna sell it. So we have more gold. And we're gonna go to the Mystic Emporium. And hmm. I like regrowth, but that's not what we want. Let's do the lightning bolt because it's six to twelve damage. Okay, and that is where we will end the video for today. I shall see you later.